Hi guys. So, um, today I have to get quite a few orders out, um, before the mailman gets here. And I have a bunch of custom orders. And honestly, I don't even know why I took some of these orders. Like, um, some of these orders sound pretty cool like the way that they want the stuff and i was like okay maybe you know i have a love-hate relationship with custom orders sometimes you know customers give me their ideas and it turns out to be like a good seller and then other times it's like mm, sometimes i don't even snap pictures of some things that i make because i don't i mean but i still have to do it that's what they wanted right this is one of those custom orders um i have to snap pictures and upload and then also um yeah i had to order a bunch of stuff that i don't even have i had to order new style of ribbon i had to order new fabric i had to order new style of shirts and i had to order um i forgot what else oh some pants i had to order some pants uh so a bunch of new stuff is gonna come in um i'm stressing over that but also today i want to go ahead and i am working on a mermaid tutu right now and this tutu comes with a shirt but i want to go ahead and make a new shirt with the um white toner printer and record that so i want to this one already has the shirt that's this, this is an order that um i already made the shirt for it but i wanna since i'm already making the tutu i want to go ahead and do a printed mermaid shirt and then add that as an option so i'm gonna do that i am new to this whole printing stuff for shirts and and such like i i i've never had never done that any like never done sublimation never even seen a direct to garment printer i've never seen like none of that like i got a lot of questions um in that unboxing video if you didn't get a reply it's because i i don't know the answer i'm sorry um but i've been learning uh i've been having it for what like a month more than a month already um but like i said it's been a lot of like learning and stuff i did print out um a few shirts and um i've been it's been trial and error um the last shirt that i did i was so happy like i didn't want to make a video and then like the, the shirt not look good you know and the first video that i uploaded it was okay it was um the image was from google so it wasn't the best quality so we've been playing around with that the last image that I got and printed out was really nice. So the the colors, the, the quality, everything, it looks amazing. I was blown away. So now I want to do more. <laughs> and so I'm going to record that. Um, hopefully this video is not like every other video where, you know, it has some type of different type of work. So, um, yeah, and I haven't forgotten that I have to make that video for the leotard, the bodysuits with the little ruffles. I know, I know I have to make that. Also, um, I know I was gonna show you guys what I got from China. I still don't have quite everything in yet. I'm just waiting for a few more things to get here and then I'll show you guys a haul or whatever. Um, and then that's it. Um, I'm gonna get to work. My heat press is ready, so. I'll see you guys. So this is the shirt that originally comes with my uh, with my listing. Oh, I need a lint roller. Um, so this is the one that originally comes with the tutu that I offer in my listing. It has the gold and the pink and the purple. Um, so I did go ahead and embroider this out with my Rikuma. Which one did I make it on? Oh, on this one. I did use the MT1501 for this. It looks beautiful. Uh, 
um you want information on embroidery machines i do have a link in the description so i do offer this set in my shop so i want to go ahead and make a new shirt just to have more options different listings so we're gonna go ahead and use this tutu and make the new shirt and um take advantage that i already have this tutu so okay, so this is the image that i want to buy i love this mermaid right here this one's pretty too but i love this one um i want to i don't so when i did the training they did say that um svgs are not the best quality for printing and neither was png but the last image that i printed was a png and it printed out very nice let me show you the shirt okay so this is the last um shirt that i just did and it it looks really good to me um it printed out perfect like th i think this is the best one that i've done uh, like i said it's been trial and error and messing with the pressure of the heat press and messing with the heat and all of that so uh yeah it's um this was a png so i'm gonna try this one and do it um print it out see how that comes out this one turned out super nice so i'm i want to i want to buy this um so after that after i download that i'm gonna go ahead and open it on lumen rip this is the program that comes with the printer so if you buy the printer it comes with the with the software now if you guys can give me any tips or any advice if you have a white toner printer let me know um someone asked what's the difference with the um white toner printer and a direct to film i know with direct to film you have to do all these extra steps with some powder and I don't know heating i don't know okay i don't know <laughs> i don't know i don't know about that stuff but the videos that i've seen there's more steps to it this is just a two-step process you print out your 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 image and then you mirror it to another sheet and then then it goes to the shirt and that's pretty much it um here's a few other things that we were playing with um that's my niece she's in competitive dancing and she's a little badass and this is for her mom you can tell the color difference like over here's all the ink and then liam of course always has requests for me uh so let's go ahead and print this out i'll show you when i have it in the lumen rip okay pretty much what i did right here was just go to file import image now if i want to have um several things in this same page i do have to go to page and then nest page so that way i can um go ahead and merge the signs together so um for example if i want to add this fish over there i just copy and paste And there you go, you, you get both of them in the same page. Um, so from here on out, it's just you decorating your shirt however you want it to look. So I'm gonna, actually I don't like, I want the fish. So I'm gonna just keep importing designs until I find, until I like how it looks. And then pretty much all you do is, for example, let me, fit her to page right here everything looks good to me but if you wanted to increase um any color you can darken it lighten it and the same with the all the other colors the brightness the saturation i do have this on absolute if you are going to put this on a black shirt or a colored shirt you want to click absolute leave it at that honestly coverage and then I do have this checked off so that I like the way she looks. And then I'm just going to keep um, playing with it. And then I'll be back when we print.
Also, really quick, I forgot to mention, you can, I mean, there's a lot that you can do on here. I don't know exactly and 100% everything. They do go over everything in the training. Um, but another cool thing is you can click this little icon right here. And for example, let's say that you are going to put this on a black shirt. You can choose the color black and change the color of the screen. So this is what it would look like on a black shirt. Um, you also have a bunch of little tools over here. You have a ruler if you want to measure your design exactly point to point. Right here it's telling me it's 5 inches and 39 um, centimeters long. So um, yeah, I'll, you, you get a lot of things. You can move the page, uh, magnifying glass. I mean, just, you know, basic tools and such. And then again, um, the color adjusting and um also if you click on each thing you can change them separately um as far as like the color adjusting and such so if i was to click this one and if you hit right click there's more tools over here so you can knock knock out some of the colors or make it as transparent as you want you can give it a distressed look um, color replacement split there's a lot of things that you can do again i'm not far too far ahead in all this and learning all of this but this is little by little i'll get there um i just wanted to show you guys how it's been going Inside of me, in this sense that I can look at you with love, seeing all that I can long. Can you stay and I will grow? So here's what it looks like. We have to let it completely, completely cool before you peel your film. Um, it has to be completely cold. So I let it sit there for like five minutes and then come back and peel it. Okay, so here's what it looks like after I took off the film. I am going to do a second press. The second press is optional, but I definitely think it should be done um, because it has like this like plasticky look to it when you do the second press it completely removes that so i'm gonna go back to my heat press and press it one more time and then we should be good i'll show you what it looks like with the tutu okay so i just did the second press because it is so hot i'm gonna let it cool off again before i peel this teflon sheet i've noticed when i peel it right away sometimes it will stick to the image so i'm just gonna let that cool off for a little bit um and don't mind my dirty table this is like the arts and crafts table <laughs> so we're just gonna let this cool pull out my drawer just to remove it from the heat and then let that cool and then i'll take off the teflon sheet so here it is with the tutu this mannequin though it is stretching out the shirt a little bit. You can see right here, this is a 2T and then this is 12 to 18 months. So it is stretching the shirt out a little bit, but it looks cute. It don't really match perfectly, but 
is fine. And I think I did the one kind of crooked. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take pictures of this already because um, I'm raising the clock. I still have to package this tutu with this original shirt. And I don't know if I showed you guys the other shirt that I had did. Here's a color difference. I mean, of course, this one had way more color than this shirt over here. This is more like pastels. And then obviously this one's more super deeper and more, um, not neon, but more, I don't know, vibrant colors than this one. Either way, I like how it came out. I like, um, it looks cute on this type of shirt. These are 100% cotton and um, I'll leave a link for you guys in the bottom if you like them. And these are from AJ Blanks. Again, I do have a link in the description. So I'll leave those links down there for you guys. So, yep.